Notion, custom domains and how to add them. I'll walk you through three ways, the three ways you're able to do this. Um, I'll walk you through the ups and downs of each option and uh, spoiler alert, there's one that looks perfect, mainly upsides, but I'm biased, you'll see in a second. And um, I'll let you decide for yourself, but I'll make a suggestion. But before that, the short answer is that yes, you are able to add a custom domain to your Notion page. So a quick explanation just for those of you that might not know what a custom domain is. My domain right here is simple.inc. I'm one of the co-founders of simple.inc. We do, we turn Notion pages into websites. You'll see this in a second. And um, another domain could be apple.com. It could be your name.com your domain.com. It doesn't have to be .com. It could be .io, .so, .co.uk, .br if you're in Brazil, or I think that's .co, .br. Anyway, that's what a domain is. And I have to mention before I start showing you the three options that you have to buy a domain. It probably has a yearly fee. We don't sell domains, but there are plenty of options out there. GoDaddy, Google Domains, Namecheap. Just search where do I buy a domain and you'll find some options. Um, you have to buy one of those, but once you do, it's pretty easy to make use of it. So let's see the three ways. Here's a short answer. Yes, you can. There's a free imperfect way with your domain. There's a free way giving you an ex an example that simple that ink domain, obviously replace example with whatever you want. Fruit that simple that ink. Um, I like apples that simple that ink whatever you like that simple that ink. And number three, there's a perfect way to we way with your domain. Before I start with option one, I need to tell you this is separate from what Notion is able to do now where you are in a subdomain of Notion. So you could have chill-banana-123.notion.site. Uh, that is perfect for one page. But after that, even though over here says Notion.so, after that, what happens is this. You get dash e331 dot, 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 blah, 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 blah. So with a custom domain, you're avoiding all those ugly links. If you're fine with that, then this, this guide isn't for you. Just make use of that. Um, check out our other guides who have a guide showing you how to change that custom domain from Notion. But anyway, when I say custom domain for the purpose of this video, I mean a domain you have. Let's see. Number one, the free imperfect way to add a custom domain. Um, you have to go to the place where you got your domain and we'll set a redirect so that when people go to um, prodesign.com, let's say you own that domain, they will get redirected to this, u.notion.site slash learn more, one, two, seven, blah, blah, blah. So this is free. It's imperfect because it still allows you to, to look professional. We have a couple of reasons here of why do this in the first place. So look more professional, have a memorable link. This is important, so you're making use of that. Avoid an ugly URL. This doesn't make use of that this way, but the others will. Ability to add analytics, live chat payments, so much more. This won't make use of it, but the others will. So let's see, you have to go to the registrar. That's the name of, uh, of the place where you got a domain. And my guide here is with Google Domains, because that's what I use, but every registrar will have this. Go look for a redirect. Go look for, not for DNS, not for anything like this. Go look for an, an option to, to do forward domain. That's what it will do. So you will forward your domain. So when people go to prodesign.com, they get forwarded to this. In my case, it's chddaniel.notion.site slash page e2c7 blah, 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 blah. Click forward and that's it, you're done. When people hit prodesign.com, they will get forward it, they will get invited but automatically to your Notion page. That's free and imperfect. Option two now is uh, you can get a simple that ink subdomain. So what we do is we turn Notion pages into websites. They look the same or you can customize them to have them look super clean if you got bored of the of the Notion design. And on this is all on the freemium plan so you don't have to get your wallet. Option three will be paid but just like Notion can be free or paid, we're also giving a generous free plan because we've honestly learned from them. So what you do is you get your Notion page. All the sub pages will have beautiful, pretty URLs as we like to call them. So they won't be 
u.simple.link slash learn more 257. It will be u.simple.link slash learn dash more or just learn or whatever you want. You can set that. So um, uh, check out our guide. If you get lost, if not, we try to make it pretty self-explanatory. Once you have your Notion page, you paste it right here and uh, click build the website and it takes less than a minute. If you're super fast, it can take you 25 seconds, but less than a minute for sure. You don't have to be fast for this to work. And once you're in there, you'll be able to select your subdomain. I suggest hurrying up because if you want daniel.simple.inc, I haven't taken it, but another Daniel will, or your name, you know, your evil twin might be getting it before you do. Once you get it, it's yours. So this was option two. Now for option three, the beginning is the same as option because everybody starts on a free plan. If you have a custom domain, what I've just said earlier, let's say prodesign.com. Once you have built prodesign that simple that ink or prodesign 257, doesn't even matter if you have a custom domain, that initial thing won't matter that much. Or maybe you want to save it for later. Maybe at one point you don't want the custom domain anymore because you like prodesign that simple that ink. And you have that, you will need a paid plan on simple.inc and then you'll be able to go right here site customization domain and in there we're showing you how to add your custom domain so that now you will be people will be going on prodesign.com they will see the same notion page or maybe you've had a custom theme but if not if you if you like how notion looks they will see the same uh content as they would see on a notion page but here's the beautiful part. This website, this website is now yours. So you'll be able to add all those things I've said here. Analytics, you can't do that on option one, but you can do it on, even on option two, by the way. You can add live chat if you want that. You can add payments. You can start charging for stuff you're selling on the website and uh, so much more. Just have a look at our integrations page and you will see right there.